everyone welcome back to the channel today we'll be learning more about aesthetics and in this video particularly we'll be focusing on offset highlights so let's get started so I'm going to start off uh, typing out the code and explaining line by line to you guys so the first is substack substack is a function again and it basically helps the lines uh, stack one below the other uh, in the way that you want. Uh, in the future videos, we'll be learning about M units, which basically means um, how many units you want to move the line up or you want to move the line down. So if you want to move the line up, it will be in positive units. And if you want to move the line down, it will be in negative M units. So now let's uh, focus on offset highlight. In certain situations, the second line would be the first line depending on the M units and the other way around as well. It's pretty confusing at first, but with time and uh, practice, you would gradually pick it up. So the next portion of the equation would be mainly focusing on uh, the color box since I mentioned earlier that it's sometimes pretty weird because depending on the M units, uh, the second line would be the first and the first line would be the second. So now we are going to be focusing on the color box. And for this color box, you can generally give any color, but I'm going to give the color lavender. And the next line would be, I'm going to put it in different lines so that it's like readable and uh, it's understandable you know so the next portion would be uh, brackets slash h space h space is basically horizontal space um, more like a space bar but it's not really a space bar it's it's something like uh, a highlight like when you have a physical highlight marker when you're highlighting a important point in your book like the line that you draw it's in horizontal space right so something like that in notion so once we complete the equation and we get to see the final result you will understand what headspace actually means so now I'm going to again uh, draw in, bring in the curly brackets or the flower brackets and giving the value 3.5 m units and 3.5 m units basically the number of horizontal space suppose like uh, when you take out a ruler and you measure out 1 centimeter so 1 centimeter of horizontal space would be right so in notion let's say one one centimeter is equal to 3.5 m units um, so it's something like that so now since 3.5 m units is within a curly bracket we have to make sure that we enclose the entire head space and the 3.5 m units within another curly bracket so that this entire space is like properly closed so now to enter into the next line we have to use double backslash and enter. So now the next portion would be a square bracket minus 0 0.9 m and again when you have a m unit you have to make sure it is uh, starting with a bracket and closing with a bracket. And and now again backspace and backslash and now you're going to use a normal size uh, font normal size and then you're going to use in text because we want it to be a sans serif uh, font or you can use any of uh, the fonts that you would like suppose you want to use like mathcal or mathbb uh, you can do that as well but for now I'm going to stick uh, to a very simple sans serif font so now since we have 
um, the normal size and the text. So now since we have the normal size and the text and the font and all figured out, let's focus on the color of the text that we want. So now again going into the curly bracket and the function is color and again within two curly brackets because color is a function it needs to be within a curly bracket. So once that is sorted out we can go ahead and type in our word and close it again with a curly bracket. That's pretty much simple. So now let's just type in a random word. I'm just going to use the same word because I'm uh, basically like that. And Let's copy that. Actually, let's make this. Okay, I'm going to leave it as this because if I put this in a code, uh, it will be really tiny and you guys won't be able to see. Alright, so I'm, since I copied this, I'm going to go ahead and create an equation and let's see if this is um, working. So hit done. Okay, we have a bit of problem. So let's see where we went wrong. like just I I'm going to backspace again you can see that with just a small bit of backspace um, is just all gone yeah so in case of big equations like this it's better or it's the best method to follow don't give any space so yeah there we go so I'm going to make this slightly big for the H1 so that you guys can see uh, so as I mentioned earlier, so now you can actually see. All right. So 3.5 m is basically. So let's just go ahead and change this value. I'm gonna make this four. So now you can see that 4.5 m units is actually the lavender line. And in case you want to make it like slightly more bigger or anything, you can just change it like that. So now I'm going to stick to 3.5 m units for the lavender line. Alright. And 0 0.9 m units is basically. Uh, it, let's change that. Yeah, if we, you know, 5. It basically be like it's in the middle of the lavender line. But we want it to be like a highlight. So it has to be on top. So you can pick a sweet spot and see what you're looking for and you'll get that. So let's go ahead and change the font uh, over here for fun. Uh, so I'm going to change this to um, let's say math B, B, and C. Okay. So you have a really really nice font. So let's change this. Let's see R that's really nice okay okay this really really nice let's do t x t i t that's really nice t t that's nice as well so depending uh, on what you're looking for you can actually play around even with just having okay what happened here so depending on the font size you choose you have to also uh, alter the m units of um, the one which is next to it that is uh, minus 0 0.9 m uh, because it's where the text actually starts so depending on that it's where um, the font size actually starts if that makes any sense so yeah play around with everything and you will be good to go so let's move on to the second example and it is kind of similar to the previous one but slightly different so I'm going to write the equation same like before and it is again substack which helps you stack one below the other and slash color box 
and within the brackets because it color box is also a function so I'm going to type in lavender I'm going to use the same uh, set of colors and the text to keep it uh, simple so after lavender so moving on let's go ahead and focus on uh, the font size which is I'm going to keep it really simple and do normal size and then uh, let's do color color and then again lavender lavender and again close the bracket we open a bracket make sure to close the bracket as well so moving on to the next slide I'm going to use the alphabet A and afterwards when you see the result you will understand why I have used uh, A or any alphabet you can actually use right here so A and slash H space because you wanted a horizontal space because uh, we are still in offset highlight we are going to give that highlight effect um, similar to the previous example as you can see that is still on the screen something like that but it's a bit more um, bigger highlight so yeah so again uh, using the curly bracket using and typing in 8m and closing it again so 8m is already closed right here and this bracket is from here if you can if you don't know how to read or uh, know where you have to close it uh, within the after a function there has to be an uh, open bracket and close bracket within which there has to be a text depending if it is a text like if it's a math src or bb um, there has to be a text but in case of a color it has to be a color so like that so now again going to use two backslashes because we have to go to the next line for our alphabet or for the word or sentence that you're going to be using so again minus 0 0.9 m and in most cases I realize that 0 0.9 m is absolutely a perfect value it's like a mid-range value which you can you know blindly use it whenever um, so yeah like when you see zero when you're using normal size minus 0 0.9 m uh, units is absolutely a perfect uh, pair to pair with yeah so now again backslash normal size and backslash this is normal size is the font size and the text is actually the font like how we have in word it's like Arial and Roboto or Times New Roman it's, it's like that so now after text we want to put in the brackets like you can use anything depending on what word you're going for but I'm giving a simple and using the word hello and since we have closed the bracket we have to uh, space back and see if we have actually closed all the brackets because this is actually the kind of the end of the equation to do that we can see that hello is paired really well it has both open and closed bracket and m unit also is done and this m unit is also done and like we discussed earlier this bracket is enclosed within like it started here and it closed here so that sorted out and we have this we have this also open and closed but we still have this which means we have to still close in another one and we are done so now I have copied this and let's go ahead and type in something I'm going to use again hello um, and create an equation and copy this right there 
and we can actually see that we have run into a bit of a problem so let's just go ahead and backspace everything because that seems to be a solution to a problem like uh, earlier so let's go ahead and backspace uh, delete see it's like brand new you know so this is how it looks so let's go ahead and change uh, this four okay probably like 3.5 will be really nice a mid value right okay I'm going to amp this up to heading one so that you guys can see so now you can actually see how big of a difference it actually makes so now in case you want to repeat this all you have to do is uh, add two backslashes it automatically enters the next line. So all you have to do is in the same equation itself copy it and paste it right there and you can only change I mean it doesn't have to be the second portion has to be only changed but you can change um, anything that is there right here so you can change the normal size, you can change the text, you can play around with the M units, positive, negative, and this, and yeah, and the color as well, which is really uh, crucial because it makes the page look aesthetic and nice. So now let's focus on why we actually put A over here. Okay, so now when I have highlighted, you would have caught a glimpse of the A being highlighted. So now, it, if you have caught a glimpse of it, you would have realized that the purple, or I should say actually lavender, because it's lavender, and the lavender line actually takes the height of the alphabet A. Uh, so hence, we have put in A before the horizontal space, uh, so that the line is alphabet A the height of that so I hope that made sense and yeah and I hope you learned something from this video